Well, hello YouTube, and today we will be reviewing the 2022 brand spanking new Wooden Railway James. So this is my first brand new Wooden Railway model, 2022. They had a few, and I decided to pick James because he was the one who stood out the most to me. Now, if we simply take see it slides out and there is the glorious man James the Burns himself so you know the box is pretty nice I do like how it slides out like this and you can put it on it right back in you've got a nice image of the box but if you didn't know they're bringing back clickety clack track with the old connectors old name old logo all that so yeah, I'll come back to y'all when this is when this bad boy's out of the box. Alrighty, so welcome back. You have you've just seen James, the 2022 brand new Return to Wooden Railway James in his box. I'm filming this the next day, and here he is out of the box. And what I wanted to do was line him up with the original James, the very first, and just kind of, you know, to view and, you know, kind of use the older James as a contrast. So, starting off, I feel one of, let's start with the body, let's start with the negatives, so we can end it on the positives. Um, the wheels, I, I mean, every, I like the wheel arrangement, don't get me wrong, but the wheels themselves just feel way too big, and, like, on here, like, why is the tender so far, or why is the body from the tender so far from the wheels, it's, it's a bit strange looking, if I'm going to be honest, and, <clears throat> the paints kind of come on, I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but the paints come off a bit weird on there but I mean it's wood I'm not too like it's not that unexpected and last but not least the face is a bit cartoonish for my liking I mean I I kind of it's a little too animate too happy I think the printed eyes are definitely a downside but now let's get on to the positives, which there are much more positives than negatives. Starting off with the positives, the detail on this model is just exquisite. We've got rivets, de rivet details. You can see his... Um, you can see side, his side rods. Again, his wheel arrangement, I love how it's accurate to the show with his leading wheel and three driving wheels. I like how long he is. He looks, but he doesn't look too long, if that makes sense. He looks like James does in the show, and I, I really like that. The glow from the firebox is one of my favorite features, and if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that's on all of these new models. I like the lining is put on there pretty much perfectly. The handrail, which is just put on there. And the smoke box, I like the good length of it. And the dome. The dome is one of my favorite parts. It, I love how it is put on there. I mean, or put there separately fitted. Unlike the Thomas Wood models, which just didn't have a dome. I think it might have been printed on. I, I'm not 100% sure. I didn't actually own any of them. Funnel's a good height. Now, if we go under the tender, we've got more of the rivet detail. I really like this coal load up here. It's really nice. The wheels, I do like how they have counterweights, especially, or, like, how they have counterweights. And the numbers on there nicely. I, the, I like the little handrail on there. Same as on the engine. See, handrail, handrail. 
really like that. It's the motion. I mean, I also like how the bogeys are done, which, I mean, it's a bit weird when James is like that, because I'm just not used to that, I suppose. The name isn't, like, overbearing, and it's pretty much all wood, except for the dome, smoke box, and the bogeys, and the coal load, of course. It's all wood, which I really like. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much for that, James. I mean, if you compare him next to the original James, I mean, it's it's a league of difference. This is the James that I use mainly. Love the face on this James. But this isn't a review on this James. I might do a review on him sometime down the line, I don't know. But mainly just brought him so I could have both Jameses next to each other. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you next time. Bye.